Today, I embark on a new challenge. I want to create a 20,000 population city and city skylines in one tile and under two hours. I, I get it. It might be a simple task. I'm, I'm not too sure. I had no idea. But I kind of just want to see if I can build a functioning city in one tile with a 20,000 population under two hours. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see what I can do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, what I'm wanting to do is let's just go and unlock our roads real quick. And cool. Awesome. Simple. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put it around about here. Uh, I think what I do want to do is I'm just going to make one myself. Versus just using the pre-built one. You know, it is kind of simple to make. Um, just basically this. Nope. Come on. Come on. See, I say it's simple, then I start messing up like this. Um, so let me just redo this here. Um, and just use a smaller road. Then you should be fine. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait for uh, City Skyline 2. Um... Because if roundabouts, I can just make an intersection, then put put a roundabout in it. So, yeah, then we'll want to upgrade these one away. And then we'll just delete the center part. And also, then there is a roundabout. So, let's connect this to our highway connection. And boom. Not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it will do. We're also going to have a main road. So we're going to have one main road. And what I'm going to do here. We're going to have this side residential. This side industry. I think all I think all of this is going to be industry. And then all of this just residential. Okay. So yeah. I know it's still ugly. But what we're going to do is we're not going to have a lot of intersections on this main road. We're going to have residential industry down right here. Then we're going to have residential go up right here. With connection paths basically going over road versus through the road. Okay, so I'm going to build another roundabout down here. Just to connect the residential to the main road. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make a residential area right there. And I can't really do much with terrain yet. But once I can, I'm going to add some trees, you know, trying to make it, make it look good. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get this residential area built and done with. Okay, cool. So we got basically the industry and everything built, but we do need electricity. So we're going to put it, you just put down two coal plants and hopefully that should keep us satisfied for now. And we'll just, we'll do this for a temporary. 
And you just kind of connect everything up over here. Cool. So we're looking good. We got um, water, sewage, electricity. Everything is looking good. So we should start seeing some people move in. Hey, let's go. We leveled up and we have some access to some new things. Medical clinic, landfill, and elementary school. Okay, cool. So we do want to make sure we're keeping up with city services. So let's try to place down a nice little hospital here. Keep our citizens happy and healthy. Do we also need to stick up with uh, trash? Come on. There you go. There we go. Cool. So we got our trash services down. Got a hospital down as well. Our industry zone is booming. But we aren't making a lot of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a nice little tax hike on our citizens. Like really scrape their profits away from them. But it's all the sake for expansion. So, But cool. Our residential area is looking pretty good to be honest. It's getting us a little full. Then we got our couple commercial zoning. And I did forget to put down a uh, elementary school. So we'll put one of those down. And I think I'm just going to put one down for now. I don't want to put multiple down. So I only have like 563, 75 people in my city. So it's not really needed to put the multiple down for now. Okay, cool. So we hit Worthy Village. It gave us districts, policy, second loans, district specialization. And some upper stuff as well. Um, so what we do need to do is we need to make sure we're keeping up with our city services. So we want to put a fire station down and a police station down as well to hopefully keep up with everybody. Make everybody happy. Okay, so we're going to lower our taxes for our residential zones. And raise our taxes for commercial and industry. So hopefully we get more people wanting to move in. Then we'll get more people wanting to more demand for industry and more demand for commercial. Okay. Oh, awesome. Cool. So we just got Tiny Town, which we just got a lot of stuff that we can do. Um, but the thing that I'm mainly excited about is we can now do. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm blanking here. Where is it? Uh, okay. So yeah, we can put down fences. And that's going to kind of block zoning on this main road. Then what I'm going to do is, after I, after I figure this fence out, holy smokes, dude. Yeah, okay, cool, there we go. Okay, so then once I place down these fences, I can place down trees on the upper side to just make it look a little better and also hopefully block most of the traffic so let's just go ahead and get that done and once i have that done we will be good Okay, cool. So we're just gonna place time this uh, police station here, and yeah, cool. So we're, we're looking pretty good. Our area is looking not too bad. We got a nice little spruced up. All right, our residential zones looking good, but I think we're gonna need more because residential is. I need to place some water here because I forgot to do that. 
There we go. Connect that to awesome. All right, so yeah, our residential is growing in demand slightly. So what we'll have to do is we have this area here. We're just gonna go ahead and zone this as well. I don't want to zone on this this main road or this like secondary road here, um, just because it might be too noisy for the residents to handle so we'll just make this here residential huh. but I, th I think the city's coming out pretty well so far we're not not too okay yeah i might as well I'll just, i'm just gonna do it like that and yeah awesome our industry is lacking uh we have a few spots left so we'll have to expand that here in the next couple moments. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think right here what I'm going to do is I am going to make enough for residential area. It's not going to be anything too crazy because it's, you know, a smaller area. But hey. Okay. So, we're going to need more residential zoning. And really, this little part right around here is the only way to add more residential. And then we also got over here. Because on the upper side, it's going to mainly be industry. So, I think what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build a bridge across here. And definitely a bigger bridge. Um, then we're going to then we're gonna want to... Okay, then we're going to want to kind of flatten and flatten this uh zone this area down because it's very very choppy right now um so let's go ahead and do that and once we do that we'll be good Okay, cool. So, alrighty. Okay, so we did hit a milestone that I missed. But, yeah. Okay, so geothermal heating. That's what I saw. Yep, I don't want to do germal, uh, germal, uh, geothermal heating because it's just a lot of money to replace all the pipes I have with, like, heating water and sewage pipes. But what I do need to do is I need to expand our industry zone because we're going to need a lot more industry. And what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of have like a one. Let's see. What, what do I want to do here? How do I make this the most efficient possible? Um, Maybe this way. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to have like a one big roundabout. So it's going to be a one way, one way road. Then at the, at the, uh, like along the road, we'll have just roads going across it in one way as well. So cool. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, and see how it works. Okay, so I think I'm just going to pull the plug, make this completely residential zoning over here. Um, I didn't really want to. I wanted to make sure there wasn't residents on the main road, but I guess I'll do it um, for the sake of doing it. And plus, our residential demand is going for the roof right now. And we also do need some elder care. So we're going to put that over there, make people happy. Then we're going to... Put down a cemetery over here as well. And put that not too far away. Then child health care. And we'll put that on the opposite side of this little suburb area. But yeah, cool. 
Nothing too crazy. The city's going good. We're almost at 3k people. Okay, so now regarding this little island or piece of land over here. So what we're going to do, it's going to be enough for residential area. We'll have maybe some commercial in it. Um, because, you know, why not? Um, but we're going to try and maximize the amount of space we can have in here. But still not make it look too grid-like. Because I don't, I really don't like grid-like. Good like is kind of annoying and come on can we make it yes we can awesome so cool so let's go ahead and just make the layout for what our residential little suburb area is going to look like so Alrighty, so, okay, this roundabout here, um, it's not a permanent solution, it, I'm gonna put some stop signs there, but it's getting backed up, so that's kind of an issue, I don't really know how to fix it as of right now, and I don't really want to <laughs> try and fix it. But I think it's working for now. We might need to put a stop sign there, maybe. But that's not going to really help at all. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll just wait and see how it does. Get rid of these abandoned buildings here. But I think the traffic's doing overall pretty well. It's just this area right here that's really hurting people. So... Okay, so the city's kind of balancing out now. Uh, we still have a decent demand for commercial. Nothing insane at the moment. But I think maybe we can dezone some of this over here. And turn it into some residential okay so it looks like we got people sick over here which is something i did not take into consideration um so i'm gonna see what i can do and build some high schools some preschools and a medical clinic as well so i should hopefully convince people to move in over here um and we are inching closer to our next milestone, so... Alright, yeah. So, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do any, like, industry. Oh. Cool. Alright, so we hit our next milestone, Busy Town. Uh, we got some new roads, and then fire station, hospital, oil power plant, police headquarters, some other stuff as well. Sounds pretty cool. Nice. Alright, so I think I'm going to put down some warehouses. Where are they? There they are. Awesome. So we're going to put down a warehouse yard, probably right here. Then a medium warehouse. Like right here. Then a large warehouse. Yeah, I'm going to do a large warehouse because I want to place down... I want to place down a bus route. Just to get everybody a little public transportation and get everybody placed down a few lines as well. So, okay, cool. Um, cool with the bus routes down, let's go ahead and start working on our next residential area which is going to be kind of beyond this little hill or mountain whatever you want to call it um let's see if we can get in. yeah we're gonna go under make a nice little tunnel through the mountain and then exit on the side okay not like that i don't know what that's trying to attempt to do there but let's go down to then cool and then up right here awesome 
So what we're going to do is we're going to try and raise up this mountain here, make it a little bit more dramatic. We got that kind of a hill, mountain, whatever you want to call it, is looking pretty good. See, let's check on our traffic flow. We're at 89%, which is, I'm going to say, not bad. I'm going to consider that not bad. Uh, we need more... Well, we have medium demand for... For commercial zoning. Which I think I could do like right here if I wanted to. That's not supposed to be one way. That's fine. So we'll just change that. No big deal. No big deal at all. Then we will create a area for commercial zoning I hate adding more okay cool so what we're going to do now is we're going to add more residential area, which is probably going to be high density residential area right here. Nothing spectacular or anything like that. Nothing crazy at all. Just the generic block grid and we'll do this here. Maximize our space and perfect. Very generic, very basic, not putting too much effort into it. Uh, we're just going to try and hit our next goal, uh, which should be up here pretty soon. Cool. Okay, so we're, about, we're about almost at, we're now in like 30 minutes into the challenge. We're just, I have no idea what we're going to, if we're going to be able to hit 20k or not, but who knows once i get these districts done i'm gonna start working on oh <clears throat> awesome cool so we hit our next milestone small city we're 12k people look not looking like too much added to our plate but as i was saying here we're gonna make enough for residential area and hopefully within the next 15 minutes or so we can possibly gain more people okay so now here's what we're gonna do we are going to make our new district over here so nothing too special again just gonna be a block kind of grid type of thing uh so i can put too much effort into it but let's go ahead and start working at it All right, so we're we are at 19.7k. We are going to hit 20k here within the next couple moments. It's we're we're very cl I think we're at the 2 hour mark or maybe slightly beyond the 2 hour mark. So I'm going to say we did we did okay. I I did okay. I I don't think I did the best. I know I could have done better. Um but very up, we hit the 20k mark, 20k people in one tile. It's very doable, very possible. Wasn't too challenging at all. And you can definitely pack way more people in this little 20k point if you want to just completely remove low density and 
put it back with high density um people but oh okay so we're losing power let me fix that before i completely decide to call this challenge done and i'm just gonna put a bunch of these little wind turbine things down on the river it's gonna definitely make people mad because of noise but it will fix our problem of no electricity cool that should fix it but i think we are gonna call this done and completed we did a decent job um so yeah i want to thank everybody for watching if you guys want to see more like this definitely like and comment below um if you guys have challenge ideas let me know if you guys want to see another type of video also let me know thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time